Hello friends engineers try not to work in water when building underwater structures to keep the water out of the work area they build a temporary dam called a coffer dam it's not easy to work underwater so they need to figure out how to build the coffer dam under the water the first step is to erect guide piles with the help of pile driving hammer machine These guide piles provide direction for constructing the coffer dam. Then workers use the same machine to push many sheet piles into the ground. The sheet piles have interlocking connections at both ends which minimizes water leakage. The piles are pushed deep into the ocean floor until they reach the hard rock. Piling is done in an orderly fashion. starting from the corners and working toward the center to maintain alignment if we just push the sheet piles into the ground they could bend that's why we use a pile driving hammer machine this machine is attached to the top of the sheet pile and it drives the pile into the ground with repeated blows helping the pile go straight and deeper into the soil a flat surface sheet called a barge is used to carry machines and other tools to the construction site now we are ready for the next phase pumping out the water from the coffer dam before starting this engineers must first check the soil where the coffer dam will be built the ground must be strong enough to hold the structure one test they used to check the soil is called the cone penetration test The test device is placed on the ocean bed and the point of the cone goes into the soil. The device has sensors that measure how hard the soil is as the cone goes deeper. The test continues until the hard rock is reached and a sudden increase in resistance indicates the presence of hard rock. This test helps engineers determine how deep the sheet piles must be driven. ensuring they reach hard rock now let us go back to the project and start pumping out the water as the water level lowers you may notice water leakage between the sheet piles this happens because of the difference in water pressure single layer sheet piles begin to fail so a double layer is needed The space between the two layers of sheet piles is typically filled with granular materials like sand, gravel or broken rock. This double layer coffer dam helps stop the water leakage between the sheet piles. Once the water is pumped out of the coffer dam, there is a problem. The entire structure collapses inward. When water is on both sides of the dam, the forces balance each other. However, once the water is removed, the inward force becomes too great, causing the dam to collapse. To prevent this, a bracing frame system is built alongside the sheet piles. The bracing system consists of horizontal members called struts, which help hold the dam steady and stop it from falling inward. With the bracing system in place, the coffer dam is much stronger. Now that it has reached the hard rock we can start drawing out the area Now new problem will come into picture the water forms a U shape as it flows under the coffer dam this is called seepage it happens because of the difference in water pressure stopping this seepage is hard so engineers continuously pump out the seepage water once the soil above the hard rock is removed and concrete is poured on the hard ground The underwater project is halfway complete. This process is called the concrete seal course technique. The concrete seal course not only helps prevent water leakage but also serves as a strong foundation for the structure. Soil is removed from the coffer dam using clump shell buckets that are operated by an excavator. After that, the concrete seal course is constructed to ensure it bonds strongly with the bedrock. To do this we need to cast few piles into the bedrock. The vibrating hammer machine is used again to push hollow steel pipes into the bedrock. 
the hard rock inside the pipes is taken out with an auger machine then reinforcement bars are placed inside and concrete is poured since seepage water is always present at the bottom the concrete seal course is placed using a special method a hopper bucket and a long pipe are used in this process specialized cement with high workability is used to form the floor a thick plug is put at the bottom of the pipe to prevent water from entering after some time the pipe is jerked upwards due to this the plug at the bottom is removed and the concrete comes out during this process the end of the pipe that pours the concrete stays under the concrete to stop it from mixing with the seepage water around it once the concrete seal course is complete it blocks the seepage effectively with the concrete seal course in place construction of the bridge pier can begin workers lay out a high quality skeleton of reinforced bars to form the footing of the bridge pier since this pier will remain underwater engineers ensure that the materials used are of the highest quality to withstand both water pressure and the weight of the bridge as the skeleton of the pier progresses arrangements are made to pour concrete once the concrete is poured the structure is left undisturbed for 14 to 28 days to gain strength after the pier gains enough strength the coffer dam is no longer needed and is removed however removing the coffer dam below the level of the concrete seal course could compromise the structure's strength to keep it strong engineers cut the sheet piles at this level with the coffer dam removed and the pier fully constructed the strong bridge pier is now ready to support the bridge so friends see you in the next video thanks for watching